it's going to take a bit of work. And actually, that's the same for any family. Don't assume that just because you're related to people, everything's going to be hunky-dory and it's going to be plain sailing. Every family needs a bit of work to it. Step families, perhaps more than others, um, purely because the children didn't choose to be there. Step families are an adult solution to an adult problem. They're your choice. They're not necessarily your children's choice. Even if what was going on in the original family was unhappy, they're still not going to be happy about losing a parent or about gaining a new one. So you are going to have to focus a bit. Um, you are going to have to listen, acknowledge that they have things that they're unhappy about, um, and talk it through with them to try and make everybody really feel they've had their say and been listened to. And then what you do is you start working together. Um, I think it's really important for separated family parents to see themselves as co-parents. They're now both still parenting their children but apart. In conjunction, in addition with the new step-parent. Um, I'm a step-parent myself and the one thing that I've always recognised is that my stepson is my son but I am not his mother. And I think that's actually quite an important thing to recognise. You're in addition to the family. Um, you're a new different type of family. You're not a replacement. And if that is understood, and you are all communicating and talking and acknowledging, it's really important to, say, to be able to say to a child, I can see that you're upset about this. I can see you're angry about this. That doesn't mean to say you're giving them permission to behave badly. By recognising that they have really a reason for being unhappy, Actually, that makes it a lot better. You'd be surprised how just acknowledging something makes it better.